I have a product that was sent to me for review, um, made right here in the United States, USA. It's called the Green Stock Garden System, Green Stock, and um, the website shows some really neat things that can be done with this Green Stock. So we're going to do a little unboxing right now. I'll show you how to put it together, and um, we'll just see how it goes. Green Stock Garden System. Okay, so we got one full. We're going to fill the rest of them up. Not brain surgery. I can do that without you watching. And then I'll show you what it looks like. But uh, basically, I filled it up and I, I packed it down a little bit. I'm, you know, just not not real hard, but enough to uh, to kind of get any air out of it. And um, and then we'll uh, we'll follow the direction. See what's next. I gotta say, they really fit together nice. Uh, this leg you can see that this leg just straddles that basically I think you can see that and it just fits down on the real nice now what they say is to plant and that's I, you know I'll be taking this apart uh, or taking the tears down tomorrow when I get my plants but they say plant and then water and then uh, you've already got your your uh, waters in the middle and of each one and then you put this big water on there top. are 30 pockets each tier has six. This is a five tier. You can get a three or four tier, I think. But this is a five tier. Uh, each, uh, each one has six pockets, so this is 30 pockets to plant in. Uh, these are about 12 inches deep, maybe a little deeper than that. And plus, again, the roots will go way out in the middle. So I planted the green stalk garden. And um, what I have done is mainly strawberries. Uh, I've got some uh, June bearing strawberries here on top and then when you plant strawberries they recommend you leave a, one of the tiers free for the strawberries to come down and re uh, uh, reestablish themselves in a uh, propagate themselves repropagate whatever in the next um, the next tier down gravity uh, will help these come down and they as soon as they touch that soil they will root so what I did was to leave the bottom one um, vacant the top I mean the next one up I planted in an everbearing strawberry then I planted herbs I've got oregano and basil and some chives uh, gosh I don't know what is that time and that's cilantro rosemary and then, uh, and then I have another vacant one because I've got some real nice uh, strawberry plants I got at uh, Home Depot. They were big four-inch pots, very, very nice plants. Uh, you know, not cheap. These were uh, they had them on sale for four for ten, so not cheap. But uh, you're really getting some nice plants there. But anyway, and then you water from the top. Now you water as you plant, like I told you before. Water uh, as you plant, uh, and then uh, add the next one. And then you water in the top. Well, it's already, I've already filled it up and it's already uh, drained down because I didn't water as, as probably as well as I could have. But uh, so I'll fill this up two or three times until it looks like it's, uh, it's satisfying all the tears. Uh, again, once you water these, they're a little heavy, so be careful with that. If you're not uh, able to pick up uh, 20 or 30 pounds shoulder high, then you might want to uh, either get help or plant and then water. Uh, you know, they, they say plant and water and then stack uh, stack it wet, you know, with your plants in it. But that may be a little tough for some of you. I don't know. It is, you know, it's a little heavy. Uh, but anyway, this is, uh, you can see the water dripping from one of the holes. And again, these are the watering trays. The little gray thing is a watering tray, but each one of these has holes in it too and waters the next uh, the next tray down. So I'll fill this up with water again. Uh, I'm real, I'm real pleased with it. Um, now who would, who would want this? Um, as you know, I've got a lot of garden space. Uh, I don't always plant a big garden, but I've got a lot of garden space. Uh, we've got two, uh, back to Eden type gardens. I've got a big container garden. So, um, so it's not like I am, um, uh, cramped for space uh, 
But if you are, if you've got a patio or a uh, you know small backyard, something like that, this takes up about two feet, two square feet. It's probably 18 and probably 20, maybe maybe two feet in diameter. So it takes up about two square feet. And this five tier is about uh, four and a half feet tall. I haven't measured it, but I'm just guessing. Uh, and you can just grow tons and tons of stuff. If you don't do strawberries, then you fill each and every one of these up. Like I say, I skipped a tier because I've got strawberries. If you're not doing strawberries, if you're doing uh, other things, and I've seen them, uh, if you go on their web website, and I'll put a link to that uh, below, uh, if you go on their website, you'll see everything in it. They grow c carrots, they grow sweet potatoes, potatoes, uh, they grow corn, and which is just blows my mind. They could put uh, grow corn in this, but they did. Uh, so this is a very versatile, uh, again, made in America. That's what sold me on it, and that's the only reason I'm doing a, uh, uh, have chose it to do a review is because it's made in America, uh, and it's just it's a really neat system. So um, you might want to go check it out. This one, you know, I think it's a little over $100, I believe. Uh, and they've got, uh, again, I think three three or four colors to choose from. Uh, but if you have a patio, I tell you what, let me, let me stop the camera and I'll show you something that would be cool. If you have a patio and, you know, you, different times of the year, your sun is, uh, of course, angling at different directions. Or if in the winter you wanted to bring your plants in, you could put that on what I call a piano dollar dolly it's a piano dolly or a movers dolly put uh, put it up on that and just uh, bring it in the house as needed if it's winter or if the sun changes on your patio from uh, spring to late summer then you can move it to uh, to a better location um, so that's that's an idea that uh, if I put it on my deck I, I would probably use that but I don't think my deck is going to get enough sun especially to do strawberries might to might to do herbs but not strawberries so uh, that's a good idea too something i just thought of to uh, to put that on and and you can move it wherever you want to but it's a real neat system i think you'll like it um, i think it's going to grow a lot of good stuff for me i've had trouble as i said uh, i think i said before i've had trouble in the past growing strawberries just out in the ground even in my container garden, I've had trouble just not growing a good uh, amount of strawberries. I just, you know, I've, out of a bunch of plants, I'd get a handful of strawberries. So that's where I'm going this year. Uh, I'm glad they sent it to me. I appreciate the, them doing that. Uh, these, these plants from Home Depot already got blooms on them. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, I think you'll like it. Green stock garden system. I'm gonna put a link under the video where it says show more right down there click on that you'll see a link to this and go uh go check it out they've got some neat uh some neat videos some neat uh photographs of uh things that people have grown in these and it's just a it's a very well thought out product it's uh very well made heavy duty but uh, Greenstock Garden System, you, I think you'll really like it. Look at the link below. Go check them out. Tell them I sent you. Okay? We're gone.